Chuck, I got another explainer video for you. All right. Yeah, Here these don't go. come out of nowhere because I could, you know, if they were just wiki pages, I say go to the wiki page. You know, I got to, it's got to be something you're not getting anywhere else. Okay, I'm, I like I'm just that. Saying. Okay. I like that. Take that wiki page. <laughs> he know I love wiki, yeah. especially Suck my people. Suck on that wiki. <laughs> my people have some of the best. I don't mean to boast, but my people, we have some of the best wiki pages out there. You read a wiki page on anything in the universe, I, it's going to be well written. It's going to be nicely illustrated, and I, I'm very proud of my general astrophysics community for our wiki pages. I'm just okay. Saying. You look up the, the Venus, the Moon, black holes. You know, expanding universe. Just check it out. It's all good. It's all good. So, I got one for you. Ready? Go ahead. That rocks are light. You mean pebbles? No, rocks. As in? Rocks. Little, little teeny. Boulders. I don't, care. I don't care what size. I don't okay. care. They're all light. What I mean by light is that they're low density. Now, you might say, no, they're not. Yeah. I was going <laughs> to say, okay, Hercules. <laughs> Rocks are so damn light, boulders. Like, <laughs> Well, we went over weight and density on another explainer. Yes, right? we did. Which we can say a big light. tree is heavy, but, you, but it floats. Okay, right. so how heavy could it be if it floats? Well, well right? there you go. So but a battleship floats, too. A battleship so. floats. So right. the so. average density of a battleship, or even an aircraft carrier, is less than water. Because when you do a cross-section through an aircraft carrier, it's mostly air. Right. Okay? Okay, most of a ship is ever air. And so that's why, great discovery, by the way, to realize you can make a boat out of something that itself, the material doesn't float. Float, right. You have to, It's the design of the hull that I that guarantee that. you, that guy... Was not well received. <laughs> no, what, what he did was it transformed naval warfare. You didn't have to make a ship out of wood anymore. You can make yeah. it out of steel. Yeah. Just put enough hull in there and, and you're good. So, God, that would have been cool to be on the first steel battleship going up against wooden dudes. Yeah, you would just plow through. That would, that's called asymmetric advantage in warfare. Nice. Okay. I like that. So, yeah, so the first person with a gun when all you have is a bow and arrow, asymmetric <laughs> advantage. Okay. That's how also that works. called winner. <laughs> winner. You won that battle. Okay. Exactly. If you're there with a bow and arrow and somebody's shooting you down, you say, okay, we're good. We right. good. That's like like aliens with ray guns and you're up there with a pistol shooting at it. It's like, no, can you just see the situation here? I am so glad you said that because I hate when they do that, where the, in the movies, er, when the movies, when the earthlings go up against the aliens and the earthlings are shooting bullets and the aliens are shooting like laser beams, laser beams that vaporize their homes, right? And I'm and like, yeah. really? Come on. <laughs> just... And we win? Come on. <laughs> Come on. All right. But a, but a pistol okay. to a laser fight. Get out. All right. Back to rocks. Rocks are. Dense or no, not dense? No, they're light. They're light. Now, here's why. Earth was once molten. Okay. okay? Right. When, in the early days of formation, right? When you're right. molten and you're as big as the Earth, right. gravity will do things to that molten mixture. Okay? Right. That makes sense, right? Okay. So, so you, if you're denser, if you're heavier, if you're denser, you will sink to the middle. Right. That makes and sense. If you're lighter, you'll float. This happens with any, if you're mixing oil and vinegar for your right. salad, um, okay, you're mixing anything. Layered that, cocktails. You layer, that, that, for example, and that generally, well, always, the lower density stuff will float on top of the higher density stuff. Some things you can mix and it'll stay mixed for a while. That's cool. Um, but that's how things work. Okay. So, why is it that when you walk around Earth's surface, you find rocks. <laughs> okay. Earth does not have rocks in its core. You know what it has in its core? Iron. Iron. Nickel. Right. Magnesium. Right. Okay. It's got heavy metals in its core because all the heavy stuff sank to the middle and all the light stuff floated to the top. So Earth's crust where the active ingredient is rock, is the lightest stuff in Earth when it formed. So the, oh my oh, sorry, God. Sorry, so sorry, it's the third stuff, lightest. So it's the third lightest. Third lightest. The very lightest stuff are the gases, okay? Okay, yeah. So they're floating makes, over your head. Right, okay. okay? Yeah, and next is the water. Okay, that, all right. Yeah. Okay, so the water sank to the bottom of the gas. Makes sense. Okay, that's Earth's surface. There all right, go. and what sinks to the bottom of the water? 
Rocks. Rocks. And what sinks below the rocks? All the rest of the crap that Earth is made of that's heavier than the rocks. So rocks are the third lightest thing that came about in the creation of the Earth. Yes, basically. That's- basically. And it's, it's made our crust. Now, everything didn't solidify in the same instant. Okay. So, and plus you have volcanoes that communicate lower layers with upper layers and things. Right. So there is some of this, but that's why if you're looking for iron, you got to find the iron ore. Okay. The iron ore what? <laughs> you know exactly what I'm, I'm sorry. Saying. I had to do it. <laughs> do it it was so bad but I couldn't it was bad it was so bad it was, it was good so, okay I, I know it was so bad it was good okay uh, so there's iron ore nickel ore so so it's not everywhere there are these places right. where these these veins had been preserved at the point earth was solidifying okay so you get this remnants of the stuff you want to find out where most of the iron is and most of the nickel is on earth it is in the center of the earth and the universe has a lot of nickel and iron in it Right. So Earth got its plenty of its share of those two ingredients, and it's in our core. And you might say, well, how do you know? You've never been there. Let me hear it. <laughs> well, how do you know? You've never been there. Oh, I like that accent. Too. Well, yeah. that, that, that. that was the obnoxious kid that was it. Yeah, that was the- <laughs> in the classroom. Yeah. How do you know, Mr. Astrophysicist? You've never been there. <laughs> <laughs> so we have geophysicists who, anytime there's an earthquake, right. they can time the passage of the of the um, of the earthquake signals through the different layers of the earth and right. depending on where and when they receive them at other stations they right. can map the density profile of the entire earth holy crap they know it because because the, the the wave moves through dense materials differently, differently. from through from light materials and once you know that you can figure that out and bada bing <clears throat> we've got an iron core that's amazing. There you have I it. So, so we think we're about the density of water, all right? Approximately, some people float, some people sink. That right. humans are about the density of water. So, so we think of rocks as heavy, and relative to us, they're heavy. Relative to water, they're heavy. Relative to air, but not relative to the rest of the earth. That's why you don't have to have a mining operation to find rocks. <laughs> <laughs> they're sticking out of the they, side of the mountain. They have floated to the top. They've floated of the to earth. the top, and they're they're there for the taking. That's so. And cool. by the way, that's why it's so hard to find meteorites on Earth's surface, because most meteorites are rocky, and so it'll land, and it just looks like any other rock. So you got to go to places where they would stand out, and there are two kinds of places where that happens. One is the desert. Sandy desert. Sand and One rocks. problem is that sand will cover, cover it over it. often. However, sand will also blow away. And if you see a rock sitting in the middle, because you, you can scan like many square miles at a pop, okay? Mm-hmm. So you say, oh, there's something sticking out of the sand over there that just got revealed. Go over. It's probably a meteorite. Wow. Okay. A. B, another place you can go is um, uh, glacier ice sheets in Antarctica and in Greenland. So most meteorites in, the, in our collections and our modern collections come from Greenland and Antarctica for just that reason. Because every other place on Earth is made of freaking rocks. Right. So there, there's probably tons of them there, but they're just hanging out exactly. with other rocks. Because, and, and some people ask, how come all the meteorites are aiming for Antarctica? Right. <laughs> <laughs> or that's like the, that's like the thing. Um, how come I only find my car keys near the lamppost? Right. At night. Right. Well, because that's the only place you would have seen them. Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But we're good. Wow, that was cool, man. Yeah, so rocks, lo- are, rocks, rocks are, are light. Rocks are light. Rocks are light, people. Right. And p- pumice is even lighter because it's got air in it. Air is helping it out. Yeah, that's, the, that's the fast uh, solidifying oh, rock from a yeah. volcano when it hits the ocean. It's and also it just, great it, for it, taking dead skin off your feet. But No, I don't want that. J- <laughs> That's yes, that's why God put pumice on this exactly, world. Exactly, <laughs> man. That's, old, that's the best. That's the best use of it. Never mind that God could have made it so that you never got rough feet in the first place. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't perfect that that foot thing. Let me give you something else to help that. Okay, <laughs> that's the second round of creation, right? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. The first round was, you know, the. The, the the actual body and the second round was cosmetics. Cosmetics. <laughs> <laughs> For those days exactly. where even God couldn't help you. Right. Yes, yeah. <laughs> so it's like, mm. 
<laughs> I can't even do anything with this. <laughs> yeah, take some pumas. Yeah, take you need, some of this other stuff. Right, you, you do need L'Oreal, baby. <laughs> I, I can't help you. You need Max Factor. I cannot yeah. help you. You need oil of old age. You know. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> 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 All right, Chuck. We gotta. We gotta stop. All right. All right. That was that was an explainer. I'm just saying, rocks are life. Rocks. That's all. You got it. Star Talk explainer video. You're the grass Tyson. Keep looking up. <laughs>